Good morning. It is currently 7.53 in the morning. I had a long night. And what better way to start your mornings with a little bit of a boost, with a little bit of a kick, with of course some coffee, but not just any coffee. It's Zika's coffee. I got the camera angles now. I'm a professional. I also have a ring light. Thanks, Jax, for letting me borrow it. But before we get started, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. About 80% of you guys, more or less, are not subscribed to my channel. So some of you guys do come back to my channel but aren't subscribed yet. Or there's a lot of new viewers out there, so. Hi, how are you doing? My first milestone here on YouTube is of course to hit a thousand subscribers just so that I could apply for the YouTube Partner Program and hopefully someday get paid for doing what I love, which is making videos. So again, if you haven't yet, or if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. It really does help a lot, please and thank you. So this Sika's coffee, again, is not like just any other coffee. It's actually drip coffee and it's from my friends, Audi and Kim. I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't give this to me. I bought this from them, of course. Support your friends, support local, no free stuff, although they, technically gave me extra free bag or two. So thank you. It's so early guys. I haven't been up this early in so long. I've never tried their coffee before and I've never tried drip coffee in general before. So this is gonna be a pretty cool experience. You guys are gonna get to see it. We have two camera angles now. We're professional. Let's do this. All you need for drip coffee is of course, the coffee, a kettle with hot water, boiling water, and of course your mugs. Sika's coffee, when I bought it, came with three flavors. I was able to buy the first batch and it sold out right away. Hazelnut, pumpkin spice, and the classic Cafe Arabica. But as of recording this, they do have newer flavors, double chocolate, Benguet blend, and Sagada, which of course are classic Filipino flavors. Support local. Slip this out. Thank you, Albi. Bye, Sika. Sika is actually their cute little fluffy dog, this picture. And it's pretty cool that they made their own little coffee company thing. Ooh, fancy. So we got the pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice I don't think is available anymore. So it's awesome that I get a exclusive taste. I guess it's like a limited edition. We got the hazelnut and where's the last one? Oh, here we go. The Arabica. Again, very simple. You get the drip coffee. Let's get it out of the bag. Ooh even more fancy. So this is the drip coffee bag. You just open it up like so. Oh, you gotta cut it open first. Scissors! Open here, open here. Right, can I just rip it? Ooh, I can just rip it, I don't need scissors. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the classic coffee arabica. This is going in my fancy bubby mug, my favorite mug. Thank you, Atitin, for my little corgi mug. And then you place it like so. Ooh. As you can see, it stays like so. And then they recommended to use less than half a cup per serving. You could use half a cup, but then you gotta let it steep for longer. I also searched online what's the recommended time for steeping, and it's about five minutes. So I'm gonna make all of these three so that we could all try them on camera. See, we're professional. We've got a new camera angle, so you just pour this on top. Eh, eh, eh. I'm not struggling, you're struggling. Like so. Oh, ooh. Nice. Fancy. Look, that steep. Do I have a timer? No, I don't. What time is it? Summertime! No, it's not. It's January. 8.03, so by 8.08, sure. Next mug will be for the hazelnut right here. And we'll use Angelica's cute little sloth mug. Yes. Your bag. Then open here, open, bam, put it in. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just realized that because I was worried that it wouldn't fit one of these mugs later. But since it's a drip bag with an adjustable holder, it fits practically, it fits practically any mug you could think of. Except for this one, apparently. You probably need a lip for the mug. It's not the drip coffee's fault, it's the mug's fault because there's, it's rounded edges and it's weird and it's a sloth. And mugs don't usually look like that. They look like this. Cuphead, there's Adrian's mug again. Like so. Let's try this mug. This is Adrian's Doctor Who mug. Oh, this one's a pretty one. Hold on. Let's see if it still works. Put it on like so. Perfect. Just gonna go with it. That. Is that enough water? Let that steep for five minutes. Oh wait, is it doing it? There, you can see it. The TARDIS is leaving. The TARDIS is leaving. Wow, wow, wow. 
left. I already forgot what the sound for Doctor Who was. I am so sorry. Last one is the pumpkin spice. And of course we got a special mug for this, which is the queen of everything. This is not my mug, of course. This is Angelica's mug, but even if it was my mug, which it's not, it's 2021, don't judge me. Stop that. Stop it. Okay. Ooh, it smells like a base bitch. <laughs> of course, again, you can see that fits perfectly on there. Ooh, just listen to that. Listen to it. It's your morning coffee. It's your morning brew. It's your, I'm, I'm, why am I Irish? I'm not. I, Obviously. So we're just gonna wait for all this to steep for five minutes. How you doing? How's your day? Hope you're doing well. All right, so it's been five minutes. So of course you got in the Bubby mug, the Cafe Arabica, the Doctor Who mug. Is the TARDIS gone? The TARDIS is almost gone. This is the hazelnut. And of course in the queen of everything is the pumpkin spice so i'm super excited i like hazelnut a lot especially in the morning gives you a little bit of sweetness cafe arabica of course is a classic and pumpkin spice is always good too so let's try this let's get rid of the bags you can of course use the coffee bags for like just throwing your soil for extra fertilizer and it's made out of paper so it's biodegradable all right camera angles back this video is super chaotic i'm sorry i'm clearly not a morning person this is the cafe arabica of course, I love that smell. Just nothing like coffee in the morning, especially the classics. All right, I'm gonna taste this. Ooh, that's nice. It has a right hit of bitterness and smoothness. Ooh, that's nice. I like that one, I like that one a lot. So next up is the hazelnut in the TARDIS mug. What do you want? What? Don't like being put on the spot? Want some coffee? Here, this is really good. Here, try it. No, I'm kidding. Imagine this little demon child on coffee. He's, look, look, look at his feet, look at his feet. He's very containable without it. Good morning. Again, so we're at the hazelnut. I already smell it. I'm already anticipating the sweetness in the coffee, so I might not even need to put artificial sweetener in this. So let's try it. Ooh, yep, definitely. You still got the coffee flavors in it with the little lingering, the lingering of hazelnut. I better if you put some in it, it'll make it pop out more. So that's pretty cool. Last but not least, the pumpkin spice latte. Was I ever a fan of pumpkin? Yeah, of course, for like the fall season, like the October seasons when they do release it. I do get it once in a while. So of course, very prominent pumpkin spice smell. Everyone knows it, especially if you're a fan of coffee. So. Ooh, yep, definitely pumpkin spice. So surprisingly enough, my favorite out of the three, I thought would have been the hazelnut, but it's actually the Cafe Arabica. Very classic, you got the right amount of smoothness, the right amount of bitterness, the right amount of sweetness, especially in the morning. You don't want too much sweetness that'll kind of give you cravings throughout the day. And this one definitely gives you that aroma. Oh, I don't know why I wanted to roll my R there, but it gives you the aroma. Ow! Everything you need in the morning to give you that boost, that smell of morning coffee you know and love. I have about 10 minutes to get ready before I gotta get going and start my day. That's gonna end it for this video. Shout out to Seekers Coffee for starting my morning. Five stars all the way. I love the packaging. I love the flavors. How easy it is to make. What? Who are you? What do you want from me? And that's the cue to end this review. Ah, bars. Great, great coffee. Of course, which is very important because you don't want crappy coffee in the morning. You don't want to start your day off with an L. So if you guys want, try Seekers Coffee. Check them out on Instagram. I'll leave them in the description down below. Oh, by the way, the assorted pack that I got not only comes with the three flavors, but also comes with three bags each. So that's a total of nine bags for about 200 pesos. That's $4, which is already cheaper than your usual, what, Starbucks coffee bean order for one cup of coffee, you get nine. So you could drink them all in one sitting and just be up forever. I don't recommend drinking more than two, three cups of coffee a day. So yeah, again, 
Shout out to Sika's Coffee. Highly, highly recommend it. Really, really good stuff. So that is it for this video. Follow me on Instagram at Albi Peralta. I'm a bit more personal there. I post stories almost every day and I do post in my stories when I have a new video up on YouTube. That's one way to get updated and to get to know me personally. So do give me a follow. Again, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help a lot. Check out my other videos on this channel. I have a lot more videos. This one was pretty different because it's a food review, which I haven't done yet, but I do have a lot of other sneaker reviews, travel vlogs, personal vlogs, anything and everything in between will be on this channel. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye. I really like this two camera angle, but it, I bet it's going to be a pain in the ass to edit. So, all right. Bye guys. <laughs>